prime costs. The calculation for prime costs includes the amount spent on both direct materials and direct labor. Tangible components such as raw materials necessary to create a finished product are included as a part of direct materials. For instance, the engine of a car and the spokes of a bicycle are included in direct material costs because they are each necessary to complete the production of that specific item. Direct labor costs include the salary, wages, or benefits paid to an employee who works on the completion of all finished products. Compensation paid to machinists, painters, or welders is common in calculating prime costs. Unlike conversion costs, prime costs do not include any indirect costs. Suppose that the cost of the raw materials lumber, hardware, and paint cost $200. The furniture maker charges $50 per hour for labor, and this project takes them three hours to complete. The prime cost to produce the table is $200 for the raw materials plus $150 in direct labor which is $350. To generate a profit, the table's price should be set above its prime cost. In order for the furniture maker to be profitable, they must charge at least $351. Conversion costs Conversion costs include direct labor and overhead expenses incurred as a result of the transformation of raw materials into finished products. Overhead costs are defined as the expenses that cannot be directly attributed to the production process but are necessary for operations, such as electricity or other utilities required to keep a manufacturing plant functioning throughout the day. Direct labor costs are the same as those used in prime cost calculations. Consider the example of Company A. The company has a total cost of $50,000 in direct labor and related expenses, in addition to $86,000 in factory overhead costs, during the month of April. Suppose that company A produces 20,000 units. Thus, the company's conversion costs per unit for the month of April are $136,000 of total conversion costs divided by 20,000 units produced, which is equal to $6.80. The difference between the two cost classifications is that prime costs only relate to direct material and direct labor costs, while conversion costs only include direct labor costs and factory overhead costs. Thus, the essential difference is that prime costs do not include the factory overhead costs that are included in conversion costs, while conversion costs do not include the direct material costs that are included in prime costs. Conversion costs can be considered to layer on top of prime costs, where they are needed to convert raw materials into finished goods.